Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about how to get a replacement printhead for your probably DTF, DTG printer. Uh, you know, Epson don't really sell printheads. So to be able to get a brand new printhead, they're almost like uh, not possible. But there, uh, there are a couple ways. <clears throat> the first way is to get uh, from official Epson distributor. For example, uh, one company in the U.S. is called Incompass, and the uh, second uh, company I recommend is called Compass Micro, but more likely is that they, they will be out of stock. And uh, the second way is to get from uh, Epson Repairman and pay him under the table, and uh, I don't want to elaborate on that. And the third way is uh, find out uh, if you have a, a third country uh, absent distributor and uh, be friend with them, learn a foreign language, talk to them, and uh, they, they will be able to do something for you. Yes, there's an uh, international green market for the <laughs> print ad. Uh, anyway, so uh, the next one is you'll probably be thinking about uh, like AliExpress, uh, uh, eBay, Amazon, Walmart. Uh, actually, those are not good places because for to get new printed, uh, because um, normally the new printed is much a bit more expensive than than a less refurbished printed. So if on Amazon you you see somebody selling for fifty dollars, and uh, the green market price is two hundred fifty dollars, how how is that possible to be new? I used to buy printheads from uh, Amazon and eBay uh, until I got into a DTF printing. The DTF, I noticed the uh, printhead lasts a lot longer if it's actually a new printhead. I always have good luck with the print that come with the machine, and then after the print that break down, I start buying the uh, refurbished printheads, and they just doesn't last a lot that long. So I did some homework and uh, spent some time to find out the uh, channel and uh, finally I got a box of uh, real new printhead from somewhere. <coughs> yeah, not gonna say it. However, this is my first time get uh, go go with a uh, really new. So let's see. I found out there are actually four different uh, level of printhead. One is brand new like like those second one is uh, almost new which usually gets sold as new and uh, third one is barely working so uh, it's partially clogged and the uh, fourth one is junk nice sealed by epson i also bought other grades of print ads so i can we can do a head-to-head -head comparison between those uh, refurbished print ad and a uh, brand new print ad. So next time you can tell if a print ad is new or not. Uh, first clue is the real print ad will have absent seal. <laughs> and I guess anybody can just print a label and stick on a box. So no much else can be told from uh, the label. What I got here is top grade and uh, uh, refurbished. Uh, you probably can get it for around uh, 150 to 250 ish. And uh, you can tell it have uh, some horizontal scratch. The way to open it is sort of like you lay the printhead horizontally and uh, it, the top unfold it like this. You can see that all the ink intake is super clean. So they did a pretty good job cleaning this. And this is grade B. Um, you certainly will get some clock printed. Uh, what you can see immediately, this is refurbished as this label here. That label was put on by the refurbished company to prevent you from uh, swapping the printed. The printed surface is going to have uh, uh, deep scratches. I don't have greasy printhead here. Uh, basically, the greasy they actually they are more clean. They because it's bad, so they clean as much as possible. And uh, if you if you say it's under a hundred dollars, it's probably junk. Okay, now genuine brand new printhead. And uh, notice the rubber bands is only one on one side. It's not both sides. And also they have this little thing in the middle. 
uh, there, there are two tabs in the middle which I don't see it as refurbished uh, print that. Uh, those are not dirt. Uh, those are shipping shipping fluid or shipping cleaning solutions. So basically, the uh, uh, genuine new will have uh, Epson stickers on it, and uh, they use a white box. Inside box uh, will have uh, have rubber bands and also have another tape on the side. And also the genuine one when open open like this, and the refurbished one open like this. And if you uh, look uh, from the bottom, the genuine one will have uh, two more tabs besides the printed to further protect it, but the refurbished one doesn't have it. The genuine one I can see from the side. Uh, I can see the printed from the side, but the refurbished one is uh, just one bigger chunk. And the new ones will not have uh, lots of horizontal scratches. Uh, although it looks dirty, but uh, you can see a, there's no horizontal scratches. And absence printed out have one more tape here. And uh, you might notice if you flip it over, you're going to see this green PCB board. I have a video that show show you this uh, exposed PCB board is uh, design flow and uh, you should uh, put a printer cover on this and uh, also if this printer was used for sublimation or DTF uh, before you can see some company they put a lot of white glue on it to protect the board and it's not really effective you should you should really just put a cover on it I have a video here uh, to show you how to uh, how to get a cover and how to put a cover on you can click the link above or follow the link in the description. So for the new printhead, you should see the exposed PCB and uh, there should not be any white glue on it. So once new, one has the glue. And here you see the, lit the little like a yellowish thing is the glue. And the, the one on the right, actually the PCB board is white. So it's not the whole thing is glue. The glue is on the edge. Uh, when you see the glue, you know this one was previously used for either sublimation or DTF or DTG, so it should be used pretty heavily. And if you notice the screw for the new one is kind of blue, bluish tint, has bluish tint in the middle, and uh, the old one is kind of washed out. And uh, the old one did a pretty good job by cleaning up. So on this side is not much different. I just show you the absence uh, like a uh, bulk packaging isn't that nice. Uh, this is the the shipping so shipping solution I, I told you about. And this is real absent. So it come in like a box like this. And uh, you can see the packing slip is real absent. But however on the bottle there's nothing says absent. Uh, therefore, for you to tell uh, what exactly going on, uh, it's not that easy. So you just have to get some real ones and uh, collect some experience how to tell them apart. So if you want to save some money, uh, you can go to internet and go hunt. Uh, however, if you're tired uh, of the games, just want something genuine new, uh, you can go to bchtechnology.com and uh, go search for IL. 1800 print that uh, this is the print that cover I was talking about it goes to your absence it covers the the green PCB board and then you put the glue on the edge so and, uh, and underneath the cable so to seal it make that waterproof and uh, here's the absent print that okay uh, we're pretty firm on the price uh, because we pay top dollar, we get the top dollar stuff. Uh, let's see the, the printed, how much you can get from Amazon. $80, uh, $54. Actually, I bought printed from Amazon. Okay, for all those orders, only one uh, order of uh, WF uh, uh, 3640 worked. 
all of them got returned. So for IL-1800, I bought the one, didn't work, and I returned it. Uh, if you think I'm too picky, uh, oh yeah, the second replacement is not even for IL-1800. It's for other model and uh, just, just dress up, look like a, uh, look like 1800. So uh, this is a totally scam. And if you see the reviews, 27 ratings, two stars. <laughs> this guy uh, gave a three star and the title is Wong Print. And you can see all oh, lots of them just said doesn't work. And uh, this guy comes in like this. Clearly, the seller just dig it out of the dumpster and they sell on Amazon. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I don't know how those sellers can sell those on Amazon. Anyway, if you like games, go hunt. Uh, one of uh, 10 or 20, you might get one that's going to work for a few days. So this is the one I bought, and uh, this one three star. So the only five star is not verified. And uh, six one star reviews. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, this guy is the same thing as uh, buy. First one doesn't work, and the replace, replacement doesn't work. Oh my god, $33. So for this $33 one, one star re review from uh, verified review, all other reviews, five star, four star, unverified. Uh, by the way, uh, if you buy a malfunction printhead, it might fry your motherboard or FFC cable, so be careful. $41. Yeah, you can see the white glue part. Yeah, I told you about. I'm surprised nobody revealed it. Holy macro. I'm not saying all of them not working. Uh, I, just like me, I bought uh, about nine print heads. One of them worked. I don't know if it's uh, just my luck or uh, something else. Uh, let's go to eBay. And this is a white box, and uh, the rubber band is on both sides. And genuine new printed. Okay, let's take a look. Hmm, that's not bad. So I got a green PCB board. Uh, the only thing I see is uh, the packaging. Uh, it doesn't have the Epson seal, and uh, the the black uh, plastic. Uh, Protective uh, covers is open differently, and uh, on the bottom for protective cover, it doesn't have two, those two extra tabs to protect the uh, print net. It doesn't have any reviews, so I'm not sure about this. 52, should I, should, do I even need to take a look at 52? So this one probably, the same picture as this guy, so it's just one guy in multiple places. 100 bucks. 300, um, maybe. So you can see it's refurbished. The condition, this is new. So this is grid A, refurbished. And you can see from the, the white glue and also the warranty label. So this label and the, the glue here, you can see it's refurbished, it's not new. But it's list as new. 233, 235, and uh, got be used. And this one maybe. But for that price, doesn't look doesn't look really good. Uh, you can see it's the same picture that's taken from the previous 200 some dollar uh, uh, listing that uh, we just saw. So well, uh, basically, pretty hard for you to find the new ones. And this one cannot be new because you can see the pack just from the packaging. How can it be new if it dripping uh, color inks? Anyway, you get the idea. So basically on eBay, the best you can get is the refurbished A-grid. And uh, those $50, the, those are junk, just junk. Where else can you get it? AliExpress, I'm not going to show AliExpress because it's so bad. Uh, my experience with them is just like a, they just take your money and run. Anyway, uh, here's uh, what you can get. 
uh, if you want to get from me, uh, basically there's no return. Is for L eighteen hundred, not eight hundred. If you buy it for eight hundred, there's no return. And uh, if you bought bought it, you own it. And uh, there's no guarantee of any kind. And uh, you have to watch this video, understand what you what you're buying. I mean, because the guy I bought from doesn't take returns, so I don't take returns. Uh, the reason I have to sell some is because uh, his minimum order is 10, so 10 is a unit, so every time I either buy 10 or 20, and I, I cannot use that much, and uh, so I, I keep, well, normally I keep like a 3 or 4 for myself, and uh, I'm selling the rest. I don't know in the future if it all look like this or have uh, absent seal, and uh, but, but I am going to take uh, pictures and update this picture so you know what you get into. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.